Isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing? Welcome home! You can reach out and feel it in the air. The excitement, the energy. This entire stadium has its vibrations down to its molecules. We are coming together of a united nation. And today, we are 10,000 strong. It is the greatest message that we can send out to our fellow men across the planet that if this is possible, then anything is possible. That the world can come together because ultimately we are one. Are we not? We are one. Are we one? The incredible sensation that we all feel every time we come back to the Vietnam, it's like the very first time. We have done this across the world. I'm told, insofar as regional Vietnam, Euro Vietnam, Vietnam Africa, and all of that, I have got a 17. But to me, every week on is different. Every week on can never be replaced. And every week on is special because you are here. Because you make it special. First, let us give thanks to the one above us all for having brought all of us here safely. We take a moment to bend our heads a little bit in silence. And we give thanks that we are here, we are gathered here as one family, that we are gathered here in fellowship. We are gathered here to continue to build upon our vision and that he continues to grace us and guide us as he has done every day for 13 years. So we offer our thanks to him. Are you with me? Yeah. But I tell you what, you know what's the most amazing thing we have done? It's not how much noise you can make that counts. It's about the fact that we can act in unison when we are required to. Are you with me? Now, have you guys done the wave before? Yes. Do you remember the wave? Yes. All right, let's try the wave. Can we try the wave? Yes. All right, a wee bit of exercise. So we start from there. So that would be section one, all the way up to there, to that first aisle. Then we have section two. And then we have three, and then four, right? Five up to this aisle, six, seven, eight, and nine. Are you with me? Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. You know, when 10,000 10, people say yes, I mean, they got to feel us. They have to hear it. The planet has to hear we are here. And we are networkers. What do we do for a living? We talk for a living. So you guys should have a pair of lungs, right, that people need to be worried about. Are you with me? Yeah. So let's try this one more time. I'd like to hear what 10,000 people, 10,000 people sound like when we say, we are one. Can we try this? Yeah. So a count of three. One, two, three. That's great. Can we do this one more time? Let's stand up. The 
feel your toes. The energy has to come from your toes to the top of your head. Because you're saying this because you believe it. You're saying this because it needs to be true. You're saying this because you want this to be true. You're saying this because this planet needs it and it needs to be healed. Are you with me? Yeah. And that we can prove that people, when we come together, can achieve anything that we set out to do. Do you believe me? Yeah. So let's try this. From our toes to the top of our head, we say this one more time. One, two, three. We are one! Thank you. Just keep standing. Let's try the wave. Okay, let's take it up from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now we do it in absolute silence. Because silence is the single most powerful language on the planet. Because in silence, we convey our deepest meanings. In silence, we convey the truth. The truth itself is clearest in silence. Silence is the language of the mind. Silence is the language of the heart. And to hear him, we have to be silent. Are you with me? Can we try this one more time? In silence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Brilliant! Thank you. Please sit down. Cukup. Dah dua kali dah cukup. All right. Now I would like to bring up on stage my brother, my partner, person who first put out his hands to me when I decided to start this path 13 years ago. And I don't think that I would have been able to start if I did not have his support, his belief, his trust in me. He was more than a partner or a friend. He was a brother. See, members of a family never always grow up under one roof. Sometimes we find our brothers and sisters as we go through the passage of life. And I, for one, found this incredible gentleman. Because that's the best way to describe him. He is truly a gentleman. But He's also a black belt in Taekwondo. He is a bonsai master, a tai chi master, a yoga master. Are you with me? Without having gone through the classical schooling, so to speak, 
he schooled himself. We come from two totally different worlds, but I think that's what makes us work. And the fact that the last 13 years have happened, that you are sitting here right now, is because we met 13, 14 years ago. Are you with me? And I owe it to the fact that at that moment in time, when I was not sure whether I was prepared to do this, he was the first to reach out to me and said, let's do it. And that's a very powerful thing. Are you with me? Yeah. It is a very powerful thing because you need that first person, that first handshake, that first hand on your shoulder. And that person is none other than your V partner, your V founder, Japadas Bismarck! Namaste. 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 You know, what's that? You no, said was, Namaste, right? Filipinas. You said, you said, Filipinas. He said Namaste, so I'm saying Mabuhay. Namaste, Filipinas. Anyway, I don't know what to say, but it's really great to be here, and this is one way of VJ embarrassing me every year, the introduction, <laughs> but I just got lucky, that's all. I, uh, I took my chances. I didn't know who he was. But he was very passionate. And in fact, I, I avoided him for six months. Because a, a close friend of mine wanted to bring him to have a vegetarian meal at my home. And at that time, I had to save money because he, he, he eats a bit. So I, I, <laughs> I said, I can't invite him yet. I don't have the money to invite him. But in fact, I was just avoiding because I heard he was a networker, and he's going to have me sell shampoos, toothpaste. So I avoided for a long time not to meet VJ because I didn't want to have anything to do with network marketing. But I don't know what happened. There was still an insistence. So when I met him that night, <clears throat> I was very wary. I was really very worried, and I tried to avoid. I was avoiding to be recruited, so there's like different topics. But I was wondering, he didn't even talk about network marketing at all. He was just talking about martial arts, which got me interested. Talked about bonsai, talked about yoga, a lot of things other than network marketing. Also for six months. So we would walk and he, he told me that he's very interested in exercising, right? True, true. That was a lie at that time. <laughs> but I believed him that he was really interested in uh, exercising. So he said, let's have to walk. We have to walk every day, Japa. You got to wake me up so we could go walking. So, you know, I tried. We would wake him up at 5. He said, oh, Japa, I was very busy last night. But I really tried very hard to wake him up in the morning so we could walk. So during those walks... He was just poking me in terms of question. 
you know, what are you going to be, what's your vision, you know what I mean? And every night when I go home, I start like getting, you know, that you have this question, questions that I never like thought I would ask myself before because I was very a contented man, you know, I was very happy, simple. And uh, so, but those questions were so provoking that I started, you know, hey, I should do something, you know, I should, I could, he believed that I could do more than what I was doing, you know, for my community, for my family. So he just continuously started poking me with questions. And I, until that time came, I couldn't hold it anymore. I had to ask him, Vijay, what is this network marketing? Yeah, Teach I me. And you know what he said? Japa, this is not for you. And I was just so hurt, okay? I was so hurt, like, I said, no, 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 but I really want to do it. You know, here's my cash. I was like, sign me up. But he didn't want to sign me up. I had to literally beg him to sign me up. He, he wanted to exercise my body, but I was exercising uh, his mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what happened, okay, after continuously insisting, he said, finally, he said, okay, you go to my house, and we're going to show you the bomb. So the bomb was like, what's this bomb? You know what I mean? It's B-O-M. I didn't know it, it translates for business opportunity meeting. So when I got there, I was, I was the only person for the first time who got to attend a business opportunity meeting conducted by one and only Datin Umayal. <clears throat> so products and all of these things, which I was not so interested because it was shampoo. <laughs> then until, you know, the circles came and Vijay basically showed me the circles and I didn't pick it up right away but he was a very visionary so he just told me Japa you know that you know that avenue you have in Makati in the Philippines we have this famous avenue called Ayala Avenue that's where all the banks are it's a banking street banking district so he told me six months you're with me you're gonna choose what bank to open up an account in Ayala Avenue. <laughs> oh gosh, I wasn't so, I was just, uh, okay, okay, but I wasn't so, you know, interested about it until he told me that, because at that time I was doing business with my brother and my brother was my boss. So what hit me, he told me in six months, you're gonna be firing your brother and you don't need to work for him. That got me interested. <laughs> so when I joined him, it was different, not like what you guys are doing. You're following up with your downline, like you're begging them, please come to training, please come to VCon. It was different with us. I was chasing him. VJ, when is the next training? You know, what's, what should I do next? I was just bugging him on the phone every day. He didn't need to follow up. In fact, I ended up a chauffeur in the beginning because he didn't have a car that time. I had a, you know, Volkswagen. And, and uh, I had to take him around to all of his meetings, not knowing that he was already training me. And that's all, that, I mean, to cut a long story short, because I'll end up talking for a long time, that's how our partnership started. And up to now, he is still my one and only app line. <laughs> So when he says that it's about me, no, it's not really about me, it's, it's him. Without him, I would not have, I would not be here today. And I think, I also think it's because of the one, the master plan up there that got us together to be here today. So Dato, it's your, it's your night to speak, so.
Thank you very much, BJ. Love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Come on, Jabadas Bismarck. It takes all types to make a networker. And Japa and I are very different in that respect. I'm very comfortable here. He is formidable when you sit across the table from him. We used to call him the master of the one-on-one. -on -one. Because when he sits with somebody one at a time, he is incredible. When I needed to fill up a, a hall in the early days when we began, I would call all my leaders. And all of them put together would not be able to equal what he brings together. When I call him, because he built a relationship with everyone. He would call them and they would come. Are you with me? And that's a very powerful thing. And what we're going to spend over the next few days is to talk about the things that make it possible. We're going to go back to the basics. We're going to go back to the beginning. Although there are many of you leaders over here, I'm going to talk to everyone as if we are just starting. Are you with me? Because when you start anything, your energy is incredible. Your optimism, that means your positive thinking, is incredible. Your strength, your challenge, the fact that you're trying something new, it's wonderful. Are you with me? So when we start, that energy has to be revived again. Because we have come to a new paradigm. We looked upon as a company that's been around for 12 years. And in our, in our industry, that is incredible. And on top of that, we are an Asian company that has been around for 12 years, into our 13th year. See, network marketing may have been born in the West, but we have taken it to an art form. We have taken it to a whole new different level. When we invite many of the leaders who come to us from Europe or from America, and they come and sit down here, they are unable to understand what we are able to do. And the power of what we bring together, because you see, we are all very natural networkers. You see, for an average European or a American, right, to have a wedding and to invite 30 or 40 people, this is big news. Am I right? They actually count the number of people who come. I'm serious. Then they need to know who's actually coming and who's not coming because they need to make exact preparations. Your table and plate and everything has your name on it. Can you even begin to imagine if we did that? We have vaguely some idea of how many people actually come. Are you with me? And as in, they all come and they also bring, you know, their neighbors and friends along. And then you have the people who just walk in. If you have a wedding and we don't have 400 people, then, you know, something is wrong. Am I right? Yeah. We network from the time that you are little. You know who you are first cousin and second cousin is. You know where your roots are, 
where the village is and the village beyond that, your entire understanding of the family tree itself makes you a networker. And when you get together, everyone gets together in the house, they all sleep on the floor. Are you with me? Because the house is packed, the whole family comes together. Has this never happened to you? Yes or no? Yes. And that is incredible for them. And we do this all the time. We network all the time. The skills are just there, right within us. You just need to raise it. Bring it out. And when you raise it, you can go out there and touch a thousand hearts. And you know what we have been able to do? We touched seven million so far, and we are shooting for one billion hearts. But everything depends on one thing. And that's why we call this week on belief. It all revolves on one platform. The platform is called belief. You have to believe. See, Japa believed. He didn't know why. Are you with me? He said he met me. We talked. We got to know each other. But then he believed. And he moved forward. And he took that risk. He put everything that he had. And he was there by my side every single day. What he's not talking about is the challenges that we face every single day. We walked. Sometimes I was able to have Japa as a chauffeur. Sometimes the car didn't work. We had to network anyway, right? So we walked. We took taxis. If necessary, we took buses. We went all over the country. We went by ferry. We know we took the cheapest possible flights, waited until, you know, the last minute to know whether you can board or not board. Are you with me? We slept on benches in airports and in, 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 in train stations. But what drove us was belief. And belief is a very powerful thing. When you choose to believe, the world is yours. When you believe, you can overcome anything that you set your mind to overcome. It is the single most powerful gift that the Lord has given us. Our ability to believe. Are you with me? Are you with me? And we are here because we choose to believe. We choose to believe. And we believe in a common vision together. A vision where there is no caste, no color, no country, no creed. There are no differences. There is no class except one. And that is the brotherhood of man. Are you with me? Yeah. Are you with me? And what holds us together even today is that belief. And for the next few days, we are going to go back to identify belief. We are going to understand why we believe, what we believe in, and where this belief is going to take us. Are you with me? Yeah. I'm not asking you to follow me to understand me, I'm saying, are you with me? By my side, are you with me? Yeah. Now, there's some of you out there who are feeling very comfortable and going to sleep. Are you sleepy up there? No. Are you with me? Yeah. Now, my brothers and sisters, my family who is here today, are you with me? Yeah. Let's try it again, people, come on. If you don't believe, nothing happens. If you believe, the planet will tremble. Are you with me? Are you with me? Yeah. Come on, are you with me? Yeah. Why can't I believe you? Are you with me? Yeah. Because I'm looking over there. You guys don't, stand, don't believe this. Let's try this again. You came from miles away. You took 
planes and buses and trains to come here. You sacrificed to come here. You took leave. You borrowed. Many of you borrowed to come here. Are you with me? Yeah. Now, I'm not talking to those of you who are already comfortable, who are doing this because it's some kind of hobby or a passion, who are doing this because they think this is something very interesting to do. I want to talk to those of you who believe this will change their lives, who believe this will change the lives of many others, who believe that this is the single most powerful thing they've ever done, who believe above everything else that this will lead to the financial freedom that they need, that this is the answer, and it can be the answer if you choose to believe. So I'm only wanting to talk to those people. The rest of you who came here for a holiday, who came here to have some fun, to relax and watch the convention, buy some things at the stalls outside and see a bit of Malaysia, you guys, you can relax. Because I'm not talking to you right now. But there's some people here who really want to change their lives, who are tired of what they have to go through every day, who are tired of the fact that they have to keep on doing their lives nine to five, nine to five, nine to five every day, that the last five years have been just the same, that they're unable to break free of this cycle. Is it not frustrating that every time you don't have to look at the calendar to know that it's the end of the month because your bills have started to come? How many of you, how many of you have to balance your bills? So you say, okay, I'm paying this and I don't pay that this month. I have to adjust because there's just too many to pay. So I have to pay this, keep this aside, this one I have to pay part, the other one I can't even deal with, and it's a challenge. You have to balance. How many of you do that? How many of you do that? Do you understand what I'm saying? Is paying bills a challenge or not? Is putting your hands up a challenge? Is it too tiring to put your hands up? Because I don't see most of you. Come on, let me try again one more time. How many of you feel that you have to worry about bills every month? Can I see the hands, please? Can I see the hands, please? So these are the people that I'm talking to. Because I was exactly there. And I'm saying to you, that that's not the place that you want to die. That's not the thing that you want to hand over as legacy to your children. That is not your own legacy. It is not what you have lived for. It's not the reason that you were born. Do you understand me? Are you with me? Yeah. The reason you were born the reason that you have this very special gift called life is so that you can achieve something in this life. Each of you have a different purpose. Each of you have to find your own special road to this purpose. Each of you will have a different journey. But in order to even start, you have to believe that you can break free. You have to believe that it is possible to break free, that you can become whoever you choose to become, that financial freedom is possible, that you were born to be someone special. Are you with me? Can you hear me there? And that is the belief that you need to have, the belief that you need to share, the belief that you need to take back 
because you have a duty. You are not here just for yourselves. You are here because there are so many people back there who need, who depend, who want you to come back and open the same door that somebody opened for you. Are you with me? Yes. Are you with me? Yes. And many of you feel that you have done this for some time, that you know what this is about. Let me tell you, let me assure you that you still are beginning. Because I've been doing this a very long time. And every time I come back to VCon, I begin all over again. I consider myself a beginner. So how many experts do we have in the room? How many experts do we have in network marketing? You think you're experts? I like to consider myself a beginner. Are you with me? So let's see these experts again. Can I see the experts? Are you beginners? Yes. Would you like to begin all over again? Yes. Can I hear this one more time? Are you beginners? Yes. Okay, so let's hear this. Can, see, can we have the lights on for a minute? For a bit? Hold the lights up, please. Okay, let's hear the experts. How many experts in the room on network marketing? Who thinks that you are the, you know, can teach us a thing or two? Do we have experts? Good. The experts are keeping their hands down. Now let's try again. Can we begin together? Yes. Can we begin together? Yes. Because when you go back, there will be a new beginning. When you go back, you will go back and awaken the spirits of these people. So they feel and they think, what the hell happened? You came to VCon and you're a brand new person all over again. Like, wow, I want to get there next year. Are you with me? Because you are a new person. Because you go back with new energy and you go back and say, let's begin all over again. Are you with me? Now, Beginning something starts again to the basic issue, which is belief. Just because you are an expert, because you know how to do the business and that you have done it for some time, does not mean that you believe. It only means that you have made the business into a habit. It has become a practice. Are you with me? Yes. You need to love what you do. You need to love what you do. You need to cherish every time that you go out there and do this. Are the translators getting the point? Cherish. Can I see the translating booth? Which way? Are we okay with cherish? Good. Cherish means that you protect it lovingly. This belief, when you cherish it, you protect it. You cherish your children. Are you with me? You cherish whatever you would like to preserve. And this belief is unique because it is an ability to preserve. Are you with me? Are you guys tired or am I tired? Are you with me? Yes. You're going to come here and go back and people are going to ask this person, is this person mad? What happened? Did she go get a, or did he go to Recon get a, some kind of bug? Why is he, is he mad? Are you with me? Yes. Mad is good. Yes. Mad is great. Mad means that you are different. Because when they turn around and look at you and say, why are you different? Why are you so different? You must be mad. And you say, yes, I'm mad. And you turn around and ask them, why are you the same?
going to have to make a difference today. You have to make a commitment today. You have to say to yourself, the next few days, I'm going to be reborn. I'm going to be a brand new person. I'm 